It's a mad world, and it's only going to get madder from here. Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. This is Luke of WeAreChange.org, and the video footage you're seeing is a man saying fook, not the other word that you think that could get you in trouble with YouTube. But the initial reports that we're getting is that this is a video from the United Kingdom where literally British police broke down the door of an individual hosting a sole karaoke party to himself. Now, although this has not been independently verified, it is important to note that at this time, the UK authorities, aka Big Brother, are waging a full frontal assault on Christmas, and at the same time, they are launching a PSYOP counter-information warfare unit to be deployed to, of course, tell you the truth about a rushed experimental jab medicine. So yes, in this video, we specifically will be talking about this British Army Information Warfare Unit and just the latest absolute nonsense that is particularly happening in the United Kingdom, where it literally looks like George Orwell's 1984 dystopian nightmare is playing out in real life. I think it's important to kind of remind everyone here that in the United States, we have a lot more freedoms and liberties than people in the United Kingdom. Kingdom do here. We have the right to free speech, the First Amendment. We have the right to bear arms and self-defense with the Second Amendment. And we also have the right with the Fourth Amendment from improper search and seizures. People in the United Kingdom don't have any of that. They do have a wrinkly old queen that some people say is a lizard, but that's a whole separate topic that we're not going to get into. But as we saw in this alleged video in the beginning, police officers just broke down the door and barged into this person's home without needing a warrant. And that's why it shouldn't surprise a lot of people that many UK police authorities just announced that if, according to them, there's too many people gathering at a family event like Christmas, they will break down the doors, fine, ticket, or even arrest individuals who are, quote, not social distancing. If you want to protest against such aggressive, intrusive, some would even say illegal measures in the United Kingdom, if you want to raise your concerns surrounding that issue and lawfully demonstrate and raise your concerns with peacefully demonstrating, well, the UK authorities will come out in riot gear and scenes will unfold like the one that you're seeing right in front of us right now, where many people accuse the authorities of assaulting them, abusing them, and beating them up for simply attending these anti-lockdown, anti-establishment protests that we have seen just a few moments ago in the United Kingdom. Which, I do have to say, is definitely the total opposite approach that we saw the UK authorities towards the Black Lives Matter protest where officers were not in riot gear and were caught kneeling in support with what some people say was a very light-handed policing of events that did turn violent that did turn to riots, and that abused individuals and police officers. When it came to the Black Lives Matter demonstration, the UK authorities, by and large, stood back, allowed it to happen, even though it did violate their social gathering and distancing protocols, which now they're enforcing to the teeth with riot gear and the full might of the police state at their disposal. You know, some would say that's a little bit hypocritical to say the least but it is important to point out that when an establishment has a narrative that they like and a protest promotes it 
they allow it to happen. When there's a protest that goes against their narrative that they're trying to feed to you, police, of course, are not going to question any of these orders or logic or even think. They'll just carry them out and they'll squash you, as we've been seeing also in Canada, where individuals are literally spied on to a degree where police officers show up to the private homes of individuals who attended protest. Again, it's important to note here that the Canadian government, especially Justin Trudeau, have went on their knees, have supported Black Lives Matters and their protests, but now they're also squashing down on any form of dissent against them as much as they can. And it just keeps getting more draconian, more intrusive, as we have yet another video of the British authorities, who of course are closely together, not social distancing, commandeering a bus, which was going to a protest, and then saying this. You breached the COVID legislation, and I'm here to ask you all to go home and not to continue to breach the legislation under Section 5 by being out of your house for lawful purpose. Okay. This I'm is harassment. Sure okay, everyone, I've spoken to the coach driver. He is prepared. And I'm this is all, of course, because the bus was filled with individuals going to a protest. Something that, of course, is only allowed if you're protesting the right things that the establishment wants you to protest. Now, before we go on with our regularly scheduled program, not all doom and gloom, at least uh, cryptocurrencies are doing pretty well. For those of you that have listened to us after we've been talking about them, doing a lot of videos surrounding this topic, if you have heeded and listened to some of our advice, you are very welcome. And to keep this independent media operation running, since we are now fully demonetized, we of course rely on your support. We do take cryptocurrencies as donations. They are up on wearechange.org forward slash donate. The link to that will be down below. We have very friendly QR codes that help keep us up and running. And I also wanted to note that we are running a major sale, 25% off all of our merchandise, hats, scarves, bikinis, socks, sweaters, you name it. We got them all with a lot of facetious designs, like the very one that I'm wearing right now with car marks attributed to some homeless guy saying, gives me that. Yes, that's one of the amazing shirts. You could now get 25% off. Again, very little profit for us. We want the messaging to get out there in a way where it can't be censored. You save a lot of money. We're running this sale just for today. Check out the t-shirt store link down below for all the different stuff that we have in store. Now, when you just thought the Orwellian nightmare could couldn't get more worse. It just becomes more egregious by the day as we have new footage coming out also from the United Kingdom showing the police officers trying to break in to a gym, not because it was open, but because the owner was personally using it himself. Yes, the, the police officers tried to raid a gym that was closed because the owner was still using his own facility. Again, the little freedoms that we still have left in the United States, you have to hold on to them dearly. Since, of course, police officers in the United States wouldn't be able to do any of these egregious, abusing, overzealous actions without a warrant. And seeing these police officers literally trying to bang down the door, tampering with a key box, acting like brazen thug criminals trying to rob someone of his wealth for the crime of... of working out by himself. And again, this destroys all kind of logic, all kind of supposed science, and this just goes towards another example of extreme over-policing in a nanny state that wants to control every aspect of your existence. And they're doing their darndest so you enslave yourself with, of course, the latest psychological operations of trying to convince you that somehow your slavery is good for you. As we, of course, just recently seen seen CNN go on an utter tirade about how Christmas needs to be canceled. Meanwhile, this was the same news organization trying to cancel Thanksgiving, but not Black Friday. Biden celebrations, BLM protests, CNN's right there on the scene, participating, joining in, raising their fist, kneeling on the ground, cheering in awe and support. But Thanksgiving, Christmas, family members coming together? No. We must stop that immediately. And those are the talking points that they are issuing right now, which are absolutely illogical and untrue on its face value, especially with, of course, major events like Black Friday not even criticized. Thousands of strangers huddled together in long lines in enclosed 
faces meeting and jumping and touching the same stuff how is that how is that allowed how is that not even criticized but you having dinner with your family no that's top number one priority to cancel you out and to shame you for such disgusting selfish act while of course you're not supporting the big multinational corporations that literally have to have suicide nets outside of their factories in poverty stricken areas all throughout the world so yeah that morally is is something that we should support according to the mainstream media and it's that type of establishment mainstream media duplicitive flip-flopping narrative that of course government specifically now in the United Kingdom are working towards codifying and making sure that there's not any dissent against as we have received leaked documents talking about how soldiers <laughs> yes actual soldiers individuals trained to destroy and execute other individuals are online monitoring the quote cyberspace because the British Army Information Warfare Unit has just assigned themselves the important role of fighting propaganda surrounding the Conholio sickness. And of course, this happens as many people are calling out the ridiculousness, the hypocrisy, the lies, and the abuse of power by the authorities, which people are honestly sick of and they have every right to be. I'm sorry, but having trained mercenaries deployed in the cyberspace to monitor and keep a close eye against dissenters uh <laughs> like what what are you doing like hey uh wh why are the british tax dollars <laughs> going for the british military to do this if you have something that is worthwhile if you have a piece of information that actually helps people that actually does something good you don't need propaganda or an information warfare unit to sell it to you or shove it down your throat yeah the harvesting of people's private information the spy grids they essentially attest towards a total control grid that is absolutely terrifying to anyone who's paying attention. Now, all of this is happening on the heels as, of course, the military is being prepared in the United States and also in the United Kingdom for a mass jab program that will be rolled out very soon. Now, what will be the task? What would be the role of this unit that was previously deployed in Afghanistan? Well, again, we still don't know, even though public tax dollars finance this unit, and there should be some transparency at what the British Army's information warfare unit is actually doing. But not to be outdone, the U.S. mainstream media is already rolling out their own pieces of propaganda as politicians, world leaders, and citizens are told what, you, what words to use and not to use anymore. Specifically now saying you should use the word protocols instead of what they actually are, orders, imperatives, or decrees. They're essentially decrees in many instances since many elected officials don't actually pass laws. They just make decrees through executive orders that aren't codified in any actual law. So I I'm sorry, I'm still going to be calling them decrees which they are in many municipalities all throughout the United States. They want you to use the word an effective and safe jab instead of a jab that's developed quickly. Well, it is being developed quickly. It is experimental and modern medicine has never seen such a medicine, such a jab ever before. It's the first ever in recorded history and it is being rushed. So I'm sorry, it deserves to be <laughs> said that this jab is being developed quickly as of course now we have two major big pharma giants with not the best track record of doing the right thing moderna and pfizer that are rushing through their trials since it will be essentially the first company that is able to make it that will record a record number of profits the first to the market of course will get all the government contracts all the government taxpayer money without any liability as we have recently seen in a sign in New Hampshire that the Conholio sickness jab manufacturers are exempt from liability. Now, if you're not going to be held accountable, if you have no liability, what's making sure that you actually provide a good product? Um, absolutely nothing. And, that, and that's, that's ridiculous. But regardless, you're supposed to say that this is an effective and safe jab and not actually describe what it actually is. You're also supposed to say socially distancing instead of physical distancing like that actually matters. Again, just more utter lunacy from the mainstream media that's already doing the bidding 
of the British Army's Information Warfare Unit. But regardless of that, the jab is coming to the United States, according to U.S. President Donald Trump, who is praising it to the highest degree he can, along with the health secretary that is saying the jab will be available in just weeks. In Detroit, we're already getting information, according to the mayor, who announced that there are going to be 5,000 jabs per day just in Detroit, and there's supposed to be more than one jabs per each individual. How that is going to work out when the government is already obviously incompetent with testing? There's still, you know, a large swap of individuals who want to get tested and, and couldn't because of government incompetencies. There's a lot of people who also showed up to get tested, never did, got phone calls saying that they were positive with the conholio sickness. And with the way that the government handled testing, the way the government even handled your, your stimulus check of $1,200, I have absolutely no hope of them getting such a complicated medical procedure right that is supposed to be done multiple times to many individuals. But still, according to Donald Trump, according to the establishment, this jab is going to solve everything and it's going to stop a lot of the economic pain that people are feeling, mainly because of government decrees. And that pain is continuing as, of course, the billionaire class is only enriching themselves with individuals like Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, and Elon Musk being richer than ever. Meanwhile, everyone else, especially in the New York, New Jersey small business area, they are absolutely devastated and destroyed with reports coming in that nearly one third of all businesses have closed and won't be reopening anytime soon. That is not just an economic apocalypse. It is a wealth transfer the world has never seen before. And as these billionaires are setting themselves to become trillionaires with their own private space programs, listening devices, microchips in your brain, they're allowed to, of course, keep their businesses up and running. Meanwhile, you get closed down and have the police literally trying to barge into your business when you're working out at the gym alone or singing uh, karaoke by yourself at home. People have to be reminded here the state will continue to do what the state does as we're seeing in France where many photojournalists are just utterly being beaten and abused by the authorities as they're covering events where people are angry at them beating and abusing other individuals. They're also trying to pass a law in France that would make it illegal for you to share information, especially videos of police officers beating the crap and abusing their citizens. Yes, that's literally what they are trying Trying to do in France. And in response to that, French protesters literally burned down the Bank of France, which is owned by the Rothschilds. So, yes, lots of civil unrest all throughout the United States and also Europe, the Western world as we know it. A lot of times you don't even know that they exist, but just know that they are out there. And there's a lot of people asking serious questions that are concerned and are starting to wake up and realize the reality that is setting in right in front of them right now. Again, very crazy times that we're living in, a very imperative, important time to educate yourself, fact check, check out the sources yourself, and to do your own homework and research. I cannot stress that enough. Don't believe me. Don't believe anyone at the end of the day. You need to believe yourself. You being a part of the conversation, you starting the dialogue with your friends, family members, co-workers, neighbors, random person walking down the street that might see your shirt is more critically important than ever. Shirts, by the way, great way to start the conversation, meet like-minded individuals. Some of the shirts that I've been wearing out in public have started many incredible conversations that have allowed me to meet really cool people that I would have never met if it wasn't for them. One of the most important resources you could have even outside of crypto, even outside of gold, even outside of silver is your so social circle. Who you have around you is very important. Make sure you analyze and take care of that yourself personally because we're definitely going to be needing each other more than ever. And there's a perfect example of that. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. And this is why I love you guys. Stay tuned for more here on We Are Change dot org.